5つの型は柔道理想の姿を表現したものであります第1話正しいものの前には抵抗する何者もないことを表したものであります第2話逆らわずして勝つ理想を表しています第3話大きく旋回する2つの物体が緩やかに接しさらに旋回を続けるうち自然に分かれる姿を表したものです第1話大きな波が岸に打ち上がり引き返す勢いで一切を洗い流して浄化する気持ちを表します第5話ゴーとゴーとがぶつかればお互いに破滅しますがパッとかわしてすれ違い悠々として事なく共存していく気持ちを表したものであります Hi, this is Shadi, and recently I have done a video on kata and their significance and the lesson behind each kata. And this video was revolving mainly around fighting because I was talking about katas and they teach you how to drill、uh, a specific technique. They teach you that、uh, you can reverse any technique, like the kashi no kata. I've talked about self defense, like the goshin jutsu no kata, but Uh, some of you、uh, talked about the Itsutsu no Kata, and you're right, I should have talked about it. However, I feel that Itsutsu no Kata、uh, has a video of its own to be made because、uh, it shows a lot of ideas and perception and like an outlook on martial arts and life in general. So, the Itsutsu no Kata. Demonstrates the five ideals of judo. It is a representation of an ideology, a philosophy, and、uh, you can see a few、uh, techniques like、uh, Kokyonage from Aikido,、uh, Ukiwaza in the third ideal.、Uh, but it's not for fighting, it's not for self defense, it's not like a kata that's not competitive because we are too peaceful or we are too deadly for MMA. It is To teach you a certain idea that transcends beyond the mat and beyond the katas that I've talked about、uh, in the recent video. So, this brings me back to Aikido because the second and third ideal particularly appeal to me a lot. And the second ideal talks about, or the second form talks about, you don't need to fight back with resistance. And the third is that when two forces As、two strong forces revolve, they will meet and then separate again. But you can see、uh, Kyuzo Mifune perform、uh, a sacrificing technique and throwing his partner. And this one in particular brings me back to Aikido because、uh, in Aikido you can see a lot of harmony and blending. They talk about these things because Aikido means blending ki, the way of blending harmony or harmonizing ki. And This is where a lot of misconception grew、uh, from years and years of、uh, bad marketing from Steven Seagal and also just people online、uh, perpetuating nonsense that Aikido is perfect for self defense,、uh, it's perfect for、uh, military, it's too deadly for MMA.、Uh, but you know, from studying O Sensei and I myself studying Aikido, I learned that that's not the case. Whatsoever. And the idea of this video is that katas are here not to show you、uh, how to fight, but they teach you something. They teach you an idea. Like Nage no kata, you drill the basic throws until you become proficient、uh, and efficient in them, and then you、uh, go out and practice them in randori、uh, until you get. The perfect form that you train in kata as a perfect form that you train against someone who is resisting you and trying to throw you as well. Kaishi no kata, you learn that whatever someone may be coming at you with, you can easily reverse it. Katame no kata, to drill the techniques and pins on the ground. 
Itsutsu no kata is teaching you a philosophy through the repetition of this kata and also uh, being synchronized and in time and with your partner and this is the whole premise of Aikido in general you blend you turn and they will you will separate again you don't have to resist and this is the stuff uh, that can be applied outside the mats in life in general I'm sure you heard this uh, you see these photos that say uh, uh, sometimes letting go is better than fighting and resisting and they show you like a like a a hand holding a rope and it's burned bru uh, bruised and burned and like a hand that let go of the rope and it's still perfectly healthy hand with no injuries and they tell you sometimes letting go is the best option or uh, the third ideal or form you know when two stuff you know uh, blend in uh, they separate again but you know you end up winning or you take whatever that blend is giving you and you throw it away you come out victorious and it's neutralized it's the same as saying that when life gives you lemons you make lemonade you make whatever it's given to you you make the most of it so the idea of Aikido is to like I said enrich your life enhance it make it better a better quality of life not necessarily for fighting because O Sensei himself didn't want competition after years of war and teaching martial arts. Uh, he said that there's no joy in defeating someone. Uh, you can find all sorts of his writings that perfectly demonstrate that Aikido was not made for fighting, but it is a, a meditation on these martial techniques in order to implement a philosophy that you can live out with your life and. Do not forget that he got extremely, uh, not extremely, but he got it far more religious throughout the end of his life with his visions and Shintoism, etc. So, Itsutsu no Kata is a perfect demonstration of the argument that I have made uh, in many of these videos that Aikido is a practice of a philosophy that's meant to enrich your life. And this is why it deserves its own a video and its own discussion because there's so many misunderstanding that uh, training kata alone is enough like those old uh, koryu and also you know they are for self-defense and I'm too peaceful to go compete I'm not gonna uh, answer your challenge when someone from BJJ or judo or Muay Thai challenges someone from Aikido and you're right, you're too peaceful to compete, etc. But you're getting the wrong idea that uh, I'm learning self-defense and when the time comes during the streets, all my instinct and techniques will kick in and that most likely will not happen. Uh, you will probably get scared, you will panic, and that panic will mainly make you forget every single technique you have ever learned and also uh, the assailant on the streets will not come at you with a pattern like the kata so that's why I say it is imperative to train both drill through kata and uchikomi and nagekomi and perfect against a resisting and attacking opponent in randori all of them are essential that's why we train every aspect of it and kata martial arts are just there to preserve the old school way of thinking, culture, and also enrich lives. I've talked about this before. Um, o Sensei was in the army. He taught martial arts after his retirement from uh, combative in the army. So the first question would rise is that why would he uh, invent something that doesn't work? Well, it doesn't work for a specific thing. It doesn't work uh, for what you think it will work for for example he thought that there's enough fighting I've done enough fighting in my life I've been to war I've learned so many martial arts the Jodo the Kendo Kenjutsu uh, Jujutsu Daitori Aiki Jujutsu I have sparred I have I went to war now there's a lot of functioning martial arts back in his days Judo was already a thing uh, the Gracies were even fighting in those days but he said that I need something that will enrich my life through the religious practices that I I live by which is Shintoism and 
Therefore, you can see a lot of Shintoism in the writings of Aikido, uh, reconciling the gods and man, earth and heaven, and so on. So, in short, katas and martial arts, martial arts in general, actually, they have so much to teach you than just fighting, specifically uh, Budo and Japanese martial arts. I'm not talking about just kickboxing, although they can toughen you up in life as well. Uh, you can walk the streets far more confident as a good and efficient boxer and it can increase the quality of life unless you get concussions and uh, brain damage from all the punching but that's another story uh, Itsutsu no Kata is a great demonstration of a, how a Kata teaches you a philosophy and not technique and this is what the premise of Aikido is and I encourage you all to go, a go ahead and uh, read the teachings of uh, Morihai Ueshiba, read about his life and also you know open your 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 minds to the idea that kata is not it's not teaching you technique or self-defense but it is teaching you far more than you are uh, expecting but does it make it wrong that it's not good for self-defense no it just means that you should educate yourself more before learning something and why it is there in the first place. I know there are styles of Aikido that claim to work and there's sparring, but I'm talking about Aikido in the purest form, like Aikikai, uh, Morihai Ueshiba's Aikido, towards the end of his life and the Aikikai that's present here in France and the one that I've learned and have a black belt in. So if you have another insight to share, please, Share it down below. This was Shady and thank you for listening.